She's at a place in her life where peace is a priority and negativity cannot exist. She's no longer matching energy. She's simply removing herself from any situation that doesn't vibrate her soul. So if you start moving funny, she's moving on. What's up, my friend? I love sisters, Fina D, coming to you all from Vina Tima News. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. So, Kenya Moore ex husband Mark Dilly hopped on Instagram Live yesterday. When the Instagram Live started, he kept saying he apologized. He was like, Oh my goodness, my social media person is here helping me. I did not know I clicked the wrong button and I went live. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So I'm just thinking he's going to end the live and get off because he kept apologizing and, oh, you know, acting surprised. Like, I didn't know I even clicked this button. But then he ended up staying on Instagram live for almost an hour. Now, at the beginning, people kept mentioning Kenya and then someone wrote Ken and he said, I'm not going to call her that anymore because something that was said out of love and a nickname was turned into something negative. And because of that, I'm just going to call her Kay and not Ken anymore. So the reason why I'm telling you all of this and it's not on the screen at the moment is because I recorded for at least seven minutes at the beginning. And when I just click, you know, stop screen recording on my iPhone to make sure the sound and everything was right, I was hit with the downloading of something failed error message because apparently I did not have enough storage on my phone. So I had to go and make storage and then I came back. So that's the reason why the beginning is not in here. And lastly, before we get to it, Mark did this Instagram live from his restaurant. Obviously, so there's loud copyrights music playing in the background. So I'm going to skip through and just post the important parts to avoid copyright strike. But I will use the erase, you know, the song in the background, but keep the original sound option that YouTube now has. So everything should work out. Let's get into it. Yo, don't sweat the little stuff. That's the whole game, right? I'll tell you something. One thing about the storm, it, it always ends, right? And the sun always comes up. So don't sweat the nonsense. You guys don't. I know a lot of people got a lot of opinions on me. You guys don't even know me. They edited me all kinds of crazy ways. I actually have a sarcastic sense of humor. I'm going to bash you on TV. I said, if you're going to do it together. But you know what's messed up? They fired everybody now. You see how dirty these people are? So now you see I was been, been at the end of the day, orcs, we, don't, we can't be treated. You know how that go. But I don't mind if people make it. For me, it doesn't matter, but I'm sure for them, they're not happy about it. But I love everybody. On the, on, everyone who I met through that experience was great. Except for... You know who? <laughs> the producers, the Mr. Cohen, <laughs> the snake in, in chief. <laughs> you guys know that, right? <laughs> you see how they did Kenya dirty? And you know what's you know funny? Everyone said, oh, Mark, you this, Mark, you that. You know what? If I was there, they would never have that crazy. Set. You know, a husband sometimes got to stand up and for the same way a wife has to protect her husband if he's going off the rails. I would have never let that happen. You always said, oh, he's bossing around, but she still would have got a check. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just life. Life is funny like that, right? Everybody's doing well. Everybody's good. Y'all would have said he's bossing her around, but she would have still gotten a check. And that just sounds like Mark Daly is making an excuse, you know, for his bad behavior. Just because your wife is receiving a check doesn't mean as a husband that she should be bossed around and disrespected the other part about you know the husband job is to respect and protect his wife and the wife job is to also protect her husband when she sees that he's going off there that's exactly what kenya did kenya did not match her energy because she knew in those moments when you were going off she had to be the calm one in those situations so whatever moment you were going through and having 
would stop because had she matched your energy, you were so in your head that I have to win this argument and not this is my wife and we are a team and we are one and we are on the same team that you would have even said worse or snap and said something on TV that would have been replayed and repeated that you could never take back. So in most of those moments, the reason why Kenya did not match his energy and she was very calm, it's not because, oh my God, there goes Kenya. She's scared when Mark talk, she's on mute. No, this is my husband. This is Brooklyn's father. It's already worse. I'm not trying to make it any more worse than this okay he's already doing too much i'm just going to be the calming force that hopefully he will get it together because we do not need to go back and forth and have a battle on tv this is exactly what they wanted and what they're looking for and mark daly you are making it easy for them yes you can blame editing we know how the editing is and mark is saying listen i'm someone who joke around a lot and that didn't cross over well on tv i'm sarcastic i'm from new york that's how we talk but regardless of the editing you just made it too easy for them mark didn't want to be on the show and all he had to do was behave like eva marcel ex-husband he came on said a few words respected his wife well ex-wife and that was it so that that's boring or bravo but to me that was amazing to see a husband being a husband and being respectful to his wife on tv now of course whatever that happens behind the scenes they're divorced now but as far as on TV, he wasn't over there disrespecting his wife. So Bravo left him alone. Eva said, I want a husband. Here's my husband. Apart from that, I can't force him to say or do anything. Okay. Now, Mark Daly, that's all you had to do. No one is saying don't speak up or stand up for yourself. But just show up, be supportive. And Bravo would have left you alone because, hey, you were there supporting Kenya. However, you wanted to be in a mix and doing too much, you made it too easy for Bravo to take certain things out of context and edit you exactly how they wanted to. Also, you being connected to Kenya Moore. She's always been treated unfairly. We've witnessed other people on that show have disagreements with their spouses and all of that, but we got to see the beginning, a middle, and the end. How the argument started, what happened in the middle, and the resolution. With Kenya and Mark, it was always, let's only focus and show the disagreement part and nothing positive. Anyways, Mark Daly had more to say, so let me be quiet and get back to the Instagram live. But Brooklyn's doing great, all this foolishness. Not as real. So yes, I was tight about being on the show, that's why I was always angry. I gotta answer the phone, it's so cool. Hold on for a second. You, everyone's cool? Yeah, it's so crazy life, right? I'm not gonna reveal anything, blah, 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 because I'm not into the gossip and the BS. Y'all know that. All I'm gonna say is you see how it played out. But you guys support Kenya, you guys support all the ladies, all right? Because they need, they need you. You guys support, who else is on there? Mike, when Mike's on TV, Mike's a boss. Who else? Support everybody. Support all the, all, the whole crew, support Portia when she's doing her thing. Support Nini, I heard she got a new show. She's from Queens, so I love Nini. So let me give you the, the lowdown of why I'm, I roll with Nini and, and uh, Todd, because they're from New York, that's why. Not for the reasons they said all the foolishness, not supporting your wife. I roll with them because they're from New York. And, when we, and off camera, we vibe, you know, that's the New York vibe. Nini's from Queens, Todd's from uptown, so that's the vibe. It wasn't me supporting anybody else and blah, 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 and going against. So. Support them now, and when they're off the show too, right? Todd and I'm, and uh, Candy are doing some great stuff on Broadway. Support black businesses, right? Support Kenya's hair care, she needs that support from you guys. Like, come down to the salon, get something done, whatever's in your budget, but get something done, you know what I'm saying? Let me tell you, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn got gentrified, we didn't support our businesses, and there are not many left. So, please try to support the businesses, you know, whatever you can spend, I'm not asking you to blow on your, your whole budget, but spend something and keep them going, right? Because if you don't, they're gonna disappear. 
and small business is the, you know, the fabric of a community. So you guys, please do that. All right, that's, that's the main thing I want to say since I'm on live by mistake. <laughs> but um, it's good to talk to everybody unfiltered for the first time. And um, yeah, it's, it's a vibe. Um, so we filmed like half the season already. So, so I think I'm probably gonna be mad I'm on live here because I wasn't supposed to talk about that. But I'll tell you guys, because you guys support me, obviously. And like I said, it's the first time I'm on it. So I'm gonna tell you guys that. So please support anything that we do of color. If you guys realize they are eliminating shows of color, left, right, and center. They're making it harder for us. That whole 2020 momentum is gone. So you guys keep, keep pushing. Yes, that's my age. I'm gonna be that age. Five, four, almost a double nickel. Guys, please, like, support her into a, you know, foolishness. So I was gonna talk about it then, but they probably cut it all out. But yeah, let's get out and vote. That's the most important one right now. Let's support black businesses. It's Black Business Month. You guys know that? If you don't, just support one in any way you can. It's important. Um, you guys are calling me while I'm online. Hold on for a sec. It's calling Soko. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, do you deliver the Wegman? I don't deliver the We don't do delivery out of, out of it. It didn't make sense. So we kind of stopped that now. So we only do pick pickup. So I apologize for that. I don't want to ask that question. This wasn't enough. You know, there wasn't no money in it. That's just what it is. But I know the convenience was there, especially coming out of the pandemic, but they take 30%. There's nothing for me, right? So I don't want to, you know, we got to get something. So I apologize if you have to pick up. Yeah, Roble and I are cool. Of course, Roble is my, my guy. Um, I'm going to bring Roble in on the show. He's going to talk about food. So Roble is, Roble is a good guy. He's very similar Brooklyn. Roble is good. Roble is, Roble is the reason bro there is a Brooklyn. <laughs> he said the chef is the reason that there is a Brooklyn, meaning he was the one who set Kenya up with Mark and all of them. So my favorite dish on, on Soko's um, menu. So I'm always gonna go to Aunt Cruz um, mac and cheese for sentimental reasons. But yeah, uh, uh, that's the obvious reason. That's that's familial relationships. But yeah, but Roble and me and I are cool, always. That's like my little bro. Much taller, but, but my little bro, he's good. Roble's amazing. When, uh, you guys should support him on his project because he didn't have a great um, experience on Bravo either and obviously they know how it ended so yeah you support Roble in whatever he does a, a, a level where they could be sustainable and they could that could be like a real revenue stream think about that right obviously candy had this moment right here he mentioned candy and Todd OLG restaurant and the things that you know black people can do when they unite and all of that but the Instagram live kept going in and out and it's completely broken up. So I'm just going to tell you what he said compared to you all trying to figure out what he's trying to say due to what happened with the connection. Together, right? You just have to do that. But we really need you guys to solve the mess. I know it's entertainment. It's a break from reality. But when it gets real, like now, you know what I'm saying? Then you realize what, what reality really is, right? And it really is working for them right and once you work for them they get to say what to do when when to do it how to do it and when and when they don't want you to do it anymore right but uh, I was talking to someone the other day it's really interesting I was like no one's on the show that was on the show when I was there isn't that crazy <laughs> that's really sad to me that everybody no one's there from when I was on the show I haven't watched it but yeah no one's on it what does that tell you guys the fans Right, that tells me something very clear, but you know, they always make me a rebel. I'm an outcast, which is fine, because I'm outspoken. I'm gonna take that, I'll take that L. But think about that. No one is on the show, right? And think about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one more, and you guys can, I'm not gonna give an opinion, I'm just gonna state a fact. And none of the people that were on the show with me are, are in a healthy relationship with the person they were with at that time. What do you think about that, right? Why do I care? Because I, I care about those people, right? <laughs> those are people who were, were good friends of mine, right? When I was in Atlanta, they, they spent time with me, and we should care. That's, that's, that's my whole point, right? We don't care enough. And that's, that's why we are where we are, right? How do we support each other? It's just not there. Every man for himself, right? That's not going to work. Look, where's the balance? So that's why I care, man. So, I'm not being tough on you, but you should care also. 
as well. Um, it's a lot of important things we can talk about that I didn't get a chance to talk about that I tried to do with that event that didn't come off right. But um, yeah, I do care. <laughs> Don't let the tone fool you. It's because I talk. That's New York, right? But at the end of the day, you have to really support each other. So I'm a big fan of OLG. I go, every time I go to Atlanta, I try to eat there. I'm a big fan of Kenny Moore here, Kill, obviously. Eva's got a show. I've never watched it, but I tell everyone to watch it. So, yeah, it's just what it is. So that's my answer to you. It's all love. But um, I didn't realize everyone was going to join this, and I apologize for coming on like this. But um, I really, since I was on here, I did want to say a couple things like that. So um, we only filmed half the season. So once the other half is finished, I'll, I'll, I'll provide more information on that. I think they're pissed at me. For talk if they find out I'm doing this, they're probably going to be pissed because I'm supposed to keep quiet. But I'll talk to you guys because obviously you guys support me. You say much. So this is what Kenya was talking about, that he's filming his own reality TV show, but they didn't want Brooklyn to appear on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, which Mark is going to address in this Instagram Live. It's coming up, but now he wants Kenya to allow him to have Brooklyn on his show. So you have people questioning, is this really genuine or are all of his recent posts and support is because behind the scenes, he wants something from Kenya. Who knows, but let's continue to listen. You guys, because obviously you guys support me. And I didn't really say much. Yeah, I'd love to collaborate with anybody. Once it's on a positive tip, I'm, I'm there. Um, yeah, I also want to apologize if I came off really tough and mean on, on the show. That wasn't my intention. Like I said, I, I make a lot of jokes and tease. If I did offend anyone, I apologize for that. It's not my intention. I'm not. But the cast was great. And that's where my real beef was, right? You guys know the first year I didn't want to go on and they fired. And I had to go on just to make sure Kay got her, I'm going to call her Kay so you guys can't make fun of her. So Kay could get her job back, which was cool. Um, that was fine. I knew they were going to bust me up. The, I don't give a damn what they do, right? I was like, they are about to clip that part and be like Kenya Moore, ex-husband, Mark Daly confirmed that she was fired. When you come back to a job because you got married off camera and your employer tells you, you can keep your job, you can stay, but we are going to cut your salary in half. We're going to pay you way less, okay, than what we've been paying you for more work. So had she accepted and stayed, then she would have still been working. But she said, absolutely not. If you think I'm going to accept that small pay just because you think I'm desperate to be here and overworked, especially while I'm pregnant, absolutely not. You can keep it. I'm going to leave, kick my feet up, enjoy my pregnancy, have a peaceful pregnancy and a safe pregnancy because this environment is already stressful and I'm going to leave. So in a way, Bravo did force her hand, but she could have still accepted that small amount and stay. But I'm glad that she left and protected her peace because she did have a high risk pregnancy. And Brooklyn is here today doing amazing and thriving. To God be the glory for Like, I don't live for them. But once she got her job back, that's all that matters. And they talked about me season after season. It's fine. You guys can... And all the stuff, I don't want Brooklyn on the show. That's all, like... That's not even... I'll, all I'm going to say is that's not true. <laughs> all I wanted Brooklyn to be is in, in... I don't want Brooklyn to be in aggressive settings. That is the truth. I never said Brooklyn couldn't be in the show. I'm going to correct that one. I'm not going to correct anything else. I'm going to correct that one. I never said Brooklyn couldn't be on the show. I said Brooklyn has to be in PG environments. Miserable Milo knew that, which is why she did what she did at that door. Even after Kenya cracked the door open and said, Brooklyn is in here. And then she responded the way how she responded with her disgusting self and continued to kick the door and the reason why miserable milo desperately wanted that to happen is because no matter what kenya moore did majority of her scenes were edited and turned into it's kenya moore fault so her scenes with brooklyn became the only scenes where you got to see 
the real Kenya. And it humanized her. And Mala didn't like that. Oh my God, Brooklyn is so adorable. Oh, she's so intelligent. Oh, she's so beautiful. And now, here goes people loving Kenya. But Kenya Moore is the real housewife of Atlanta villain. So Mala was like, if Brooklyn goes away, then she doesn't have that buffer or those moments where people get to fall in love with the real Kenya Moore outside of all of the chaos and the bias editing. And that's why she did that. I got to get in shape before I come down to Atlanta. I got to come down and visit Brooklyn in her own uh, hometown. Yeah, man. See, don't tell them where I really hang out in Atlanta because let them think I, <laughs> I'm fighting with them <laughs> wherever, they, wherever they think I'm fighting. But yeah, we had good times, man. Barbecues, all the men, you know, the guy stuff. Yeah, I'm going to come through again. You know the real deal. I don't talk about like my private, private life. So it's funny you brought you guys. What else? Uh, just chilling, man. Hey, it's a quiet day, rainy day in New York, so the restaurant's kind of quiet for lunch. Try, I don't know, I gotta get my drinks better. Don't worry about, you know what? Thank you so much, but don't worry about how they um, portray me. That They gotta portray me that way. That's what makes it work, you know? I don't mind that they, they um, oh, <laughs> but um, don't worry about how they portray me. I don't mind they can portray me that way. Once um, the storyline was tight and everybody was getting paid, I didn't, I didn't care how they, they portrayed me. That's good. And I, and I do have a sarcastic poison. They'll tell you, the guys in still not will tell you, I'll have a trash talker, so. If you, if you edit trash talking, it'll come off negative. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But poison, yeah, yeah, big up. Someone wouldn't have married me if I was an asshole, right? Play along. And I, I, I wholeheartedly did not play along, so I, I take the L on that. So don't, don't worry about that. They have to do what they have to do to get the ratings. And they could, you know, I was never paid, so. <laughs> They can trash me. It was, I was. I did it voluntarily. I knew what I was signing up for. Um, it's fine. No, no, no love lost. No pain. Okay, so Mark Daly said a few things there. Kenya Moore wouldn't have married him if he was always a complete a hole. Okay, he said that part, and that he wasn't paid for the paid husband and paid this, paid that. We already know that Bravo do not pay the husbands. However, as a wife. If you are making all of this money, of course, you will share within a joint bank account because it, it's all going towards your household. So it all works out in the end. For the people who were like, wait a minute, so you're saying that if you were on the show, then certain things wouldn't have happened to Kenya Moore or the move that Bravo just pulled towards Kenya Moore wouldn't have happened. And people are like, but when you were there, you did not protect your wife. High fiving in any leaks in Portia Williams and not engaging in a women petty situation does not compare to men thinking because this woman is here by herself, I can be reckless. I guarantee you right now, under no circumstances, is Sonia husband standing up at a table hovering over Kenya Moore and Sheree if their husbands were right there. If they had men right there. And there's no way that was going to go over well. He probably would have pulled their men aside and be like, okay, let's talk about it. Or they would have gotten into it. No way. So it's absolutely different if a man is there where they feel like all the reckless way Apollo and Peter and them have talked to Kenya and disrespect. And ironically, these images were put together as the thumbnail of an article that Bravo wrote, Apollo defend Kenya Moore. How ironic, because Mark is saying, if I was there, this wouldn't have happened, but because of the way how you treated Kenya and the way how you made it so easy for people to disrespect her, you still did not make her feel safe that one of the men who were so disrespectful to her came out defending her so that's why your message now people are like okay what would have been so different to make them think oh yeah Kenya Moore husband is defending her like the guy who broke her garage window and did you see what happened the season but even though you know he had his ways when he wasn't taking that BS did you see them coming at Kenya sideways when they knew that she had someone there so that's what he means by having a man there and because of that certain things won't happen
but let's continue to listen. That was the but, um, rumors going on. What else on, going on? What else that, going you know, on? he was with Kenya, but he had a whole separate Plus, family all the crazy in New York that, that was a secret family, and all of that. Crazy. So that's what he's referring to oh, from the, the show. Things I hear. And also, last we heard was that Mark was allegedly engaged in all of that. But now that he's posting Kenya back to back, who knows? Maybe that relationship didn't work out. Or maybe he just have a very secure woman. He's not doing anything inappropriate. He's just supporting the mother of his child and his ex-wife businesses. Because this is also how Kenya provide for... About myself. Hold on, I've got my first customer. Uh, women trapped in... I have to say this though, um, I don't want to speak, you know, for them, it's obviously extremely lucrative and for women, you know, it's an opportunity and a platform, but it, it is sometimes, you know, from the outside, I know. I have my own perspective on it, so I don't want to give my personal opinion, but I don't disagree with what you're saying. I'll leave it there. But, you know, I can see it's also a platform and if it's used correctly, they can, um, they can really um, benefit from it. With um, Kenny Moore here, Kier. Give her, give her some support. She needs it. All right, guys. So really help her. You know. Yeah, you're gonna get a VIP seat. Um. Yeah, you've been. Yeah, you love the restaurant. Thank you so much. Um. We're working hard at it. We changed the menu the other day. We're working on the drinks next. But yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We're doing. We're working hard. Thank you, bro. Guy. Yeah. Are you broken down, or you need a call or something? You need to call somebody. Oh, just call. Okay, you good? Okay. All right, bro. Yeah, take it easy. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Hey, nice young guy. Right. Sorry about that. Yeah. So just chilling today. Rainy day. Relaxing. Make sure everybody's doing their thing. Um, my first time doing this, like I said, I did it by mistake. My social media person is telling me to wrap it up. She's telling me to get off. <laughs> She's telling me I'm addicted to it now. <laughs> That's not true. I'm just, I'm just being friendly. What's wrong with that? Can I? I got to ask permission. She bosses me around. She's young. And she's, she tells me I'm old and I'm not hip. <laughs> Which is probably right. She bullies me. I'm not going to show her because she doesn't want, She says she doesn't look good to be on camera. But um, All right, guys. Thank you so much. For, um, like I said, I did it by mistake. I did it by mistake, all right? Yeah, you told me I hit the wrong plus sign. But, um, uh, I'll, be, I'll do this again. I'm going to do this again. But we'll kind of announce it and we'll do it better. And I'll have, um, I'll be more prepared for it. All right? Although I like the kind of impromptu style. But, um, I'll do it again. But thank everyone for joining. Thanks everyone for supporting me. Um, you know, we try to do our best for everyone. There's no VIP in here. Everyone's a VIP. And we try to make sure that everyone has a great time. Um, you know, it's not easy. It's food. It's service. It's you know, it's ambiance. So we're working hard to make all those things you know, come together well. So I appreciate you guys being patient with us as we reboot. I haven't spoken to you personally, but thank you. You're gonna vote for Harris, okay? Um, I don't disagree with that vote at all. I'm not gonna get political on here because um, they're telling me not to get political. But what I would say is um, you have to vote for what you think is right. You have to vote what's best for everyone, right? So that's, I'll leave that. So get out and vote for that. And that's a pretty obvious choice and I'll leave it there. Is that okay? <laughs> uh, I have a producer here too. But definitely get out and vote. Um, you know what? As, a, as a, someone who kind of went through a lot of negativity, don't listen to the fake news and it's kind of obvious just ask the second derivative question. That's what I'll say. It doesn't make sense to question it because there are a lot of things out there that don't how you react to it, right? You, how you control the, the environment and how you control her, yourself. So. Yeah, so it's all good. I don't mind it. So Brooklyn's doing great. My son, his mother doesn't want me to call his name. So my son's doing great. My daughter's, all the daughter's doing great. The kids are great. They're growing up well. Everybody's doing a good job. Um, yeah. So, you know, I hate coming to Atlanta when they were filming. I'll tell you guys that. I wouldn't come to Atlanta when they're filming because Magic Living would invite me when they were filming for obvious reasons. And I, I said I wasn't going to go back on and I meant it. Um, but now that there's no more filming to kind of impede me from uh, in Atlanta a lot more often. So you'll see me, you know, the crew down in Atlanta, you'll see me more often now because um, uh, 
I don't have the restriction of uh, being um, filmed and mischaracterized. So I'm cool. So yeah, you'll see me more often. There's no more cameras around. So we can, we can we'll have some good times. Yeah, if I'm hearing Mark Daly correctly, he's insinuating that the reason why he's been a FaceTime parent is because of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And that every time he came to Atlanta to see Brooklyn, the cameras will magically show up. In other words, I love Brooklyn, but I'm not coming to Atlanta to see her if every time I show up, they're gonna invite me on the show or the camera are gonna show up. But Mark Daly, that is not an excuse to not be an active parent. Yes, Brooklyn was laughing on that one FaceTime video we saw but you still need to be an active parent physically being there. You cannot allow Kenya job and the cameras to stop you. You knew you were marrying Kenya Moore and having a child with Kenya Moore. So that is not an excuse. And it would never, ever be an excuse to not be an active parent. And then there are times where Kenya did go to New York and you still did not see Brooklyn because you claimed the camera was there. You got married and had a kid with Kenya Moore. However, I completely understand and saying no, I do not want to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta because when I was on there, my experience was terrible and then my own behavior didn't help the process either. I get that. Also, trying to spend time with your daughter privately and then a camera magically showing up to ambush you. He didn't say that, but he didn't see me with it. I also get that. But under no circumstances will Kenya Moore jeopardize her daughter relationship with her father because of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's not going to choose that show over her daughter. After everything, Kenya still showed a positive side of Mark by uploading this Valentine's Day flowers that he sent for Brooklyn. And then if you pay attention, after Brooklyn read the note and Kenya called her dad on FaceTime, Brooklyn is laughing to the point where she's falling off the chair. This is not a woman who wants to prove that you are an absentee father and a bad dad. This is a woman who, if you are showing up, I'm still going to show that in spite of all of our differences, he's an amazing dad. So that excuse is not going to stand because Kenya will never, ever put the Real Housewives of Atlanta before Brooklyn. To continue the good times. I'm sorry, I haven't been down in a while. I have to go into a lot of stuff, you know, between up here and down here, and everything's kind of sorted now. So, yeah, I'll be down there more often. Everything's kind of organized better, and things make sense. So, yeah, you'll see me ATL soon. Um, and it'll be all good. But yeah, I don't have any animosity towards anyone. All positive vibes. Every step in life is a, you know, lessons and blessings. So I don't take anything as a negative experience. But I definitely want to get down and hang with you guys a little bit more. All right. All right. I, I got the, the end it now look. <laughs> All right, I'm going it now. So um, I'm going to say uh, have a great afternoon to everyone. You guys enjoy your day. Um, most importantly, be blessed. Stay safe. Stay positive. Uh, enjoy it. We only get one life. There's no do-overs. So enjoy life and live it to the fullest. And well, there you have it. I'm aware there's a lot of questions. Why now? Is it because he's trying to promote his new reality TV show that's coming up that he's halfway done filming, like he said? That is always a possibility. However, even though Kenya Moore is not out here trying to keep up with the Joneses, she knows how to handle her money and all of that, and she's doing very well for herself. She still invested a lot of her money into that hair spa. And the whole plan was to get, of course, her huge check from the Real Housewives of Atlanta to replenish some of the money that she used, and then use that platform as promo for her hair spa. So in as much as Kenya Moore will be okay and all of that, it is still very concerning, you know, especially in this economy and day and age where most people are closing their stores down and things like that. But one thing I do know is that people love their self-care. 
people love getting their hair done and all of that. So business will pick up and Kenya Moore will be just fine. Manifesting that, praying for you, girl. And I have another separate video coming out about Kenya Moore and the hair spa and updates on that. I already have enough content in here from Mark Dilly Instagram Live. So I'm going to go ahead and end. And on that note, life twirls on. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're ready and post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.